In this video, I'm going to show you the six easy steps to performing aileron rolls. If you follow these steps and practice, you'll be able to perform perfect aileron rolls in your flight simulator. Digital Flight. Enjoy all things flying. Hi, welcome to Digital Flight. I'm Joe and I'll be your instructor for this lesson today. We're on the ramp at Laughlin Bullhead International Airport in Bullhead, Arizona in a Yak-52 and I'm going to teach you the steps in performing an aileron roll. An aileron roll is a 360 degree roll around the aircraft's longitudinal axis while maintaining a shallow corkscrew-like flight path. If you follow the steps I show you today and practice on your own, you'll find these rolls are easy and fun to perform. The aileron roll is the easiest of all rolls to perform and is a very graceful maneuver when viewed from outside the aircraft. Down in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you can see my control inputs throughout our lesson today. As we start rolling, I'll check the brakes. Yep, they work. As we taxi out to the runway, I'll discuss the aileron roll in general terms, and then I'll get into the specifics of performing the maneuver. An aileron roll is not an air combat maneuver by itself, but it can be used as part of other air combat maneuvers, including the Emmelman, Split S, and Cuban 8. Practicing it's an excellent way to improve your aircraft handling and energy management skills. Both are critically important in air combat maneuvering. An aileron roll differs from the three other types of rolls, the slow roll, the barrel roll, and the snap roll, in that an aileron roll, the pitch, airspeed, and altitude change only slightly during the maneuver, and the nose of the aircraft will trace a capital letter D on the horizon with the belly of the D pointing in the direction of the roll. Quick check for traffic. Looks good. You should maintain light positive G's throughout the maneuver. During a slow roll, as opposed to the aileron roll, the pitch, airspeed, and altitude should not change at all, and the nose of the aircraft remains on a single point on the horizon. In a barrel roll, the pitch, heading, and altitude are constantly changing as the aircraft follows a helical flight path. And a snap roll is totally different in that it's an accelerated autorotative stall that causes the aircraft to spin on its longitudinal axis. Now we'll go ahead and jump ahead to the runway. We're lined up on the runway. I've reset the G-meter and set the altimeter to zero, and we're ready to go. As we accelerate down the runway, keep in mind torque pulls the nose to the right in this aircraft, as in most eastern block of aircraft. As we depart, I'll bring up the knee board so we can review the steps while we climb out. There's the knee board and it shows the basic steps we'll follow performing each roll today. We'll start from straight and level toward a reference point out on the horizon at about 260 kilometers per hour. Begin with a slight pitch up to about 20 degrees. At the correct pitch up angle, neutralize the elevators and apply full aileron deflection. Maintain the full aileron deflection throughout the roll. Some rudder will be required to coordinate that roll. It's very important to maintain full aileron deflection and neutral 
elevator throughout the roll. At about 45 degrees before wings level approaching the end of the roll, begin to neutralize the ailerons. Once wings level, bring the nose back up to the horizon. In the end of the maneuver, be straight and level at the same altitude, heading toward the reference point and at a slightly slower airspeed than we began. The most common error when performing an aileron roll is failure to relax the elevator back pressure when starting to roll. This results in an excessive nose down attitude when rolling out wings level at the end of the maneuver and excessive altitude loss. When rolling wings level at the end of the maneuver, the nose should be below the horizon about the same amount as it was raised at the beginning of the maneuver. And we'll jump ahead now to start a series of rolls. That small peak out ahead will be our reference point. Look all around, be sure the area is clear. Check our airspeed and altitude. Get in the habit of checking, always checking airspeed and altitude before commencing any maneuver. And we'll roll to the right this time. So pitch up, neutralize elevators, right aileron, rudder, neutralize aileron, and pitch back up. A little bit off to the left that time. Okay, second roll. Check the area again. Check altitude, airspeed and altitude. Remember, airspeed and altitude are indications of your energy state. Always critical in performing a series of maneuvers together or in air combat maneuvering. And this will be another roll to the right. Pitch up, neutralize elevators, right aileron, a little bit of right rudder, neutralize ailerons, and pitch back up to the horizon. For our third roll, that will be to the left. Check the area again. Check airspeed and altitude. Pitch up, neutralize elevators, left aileron, left rudder. Neutralize aileron, pitch back up. And our fourth roll will be to the right this time. Check the area. Check airspeed and altitude. Keep in mind the nose should trace a capital D at the reference point as we progress around this roll. Now let's see what these rolls look like from outside the aircraft. There's a puff of smoke behind the aircraft where I tested the smoke system. So our first roll will be to the right. You may have noticed that I wasn't using full aileron deflection. The yak will roll faster than we're rolling, but at max its maximum roll rate is very difficult to actually see what's going on. So at the end of the roll, you end up at the same altitude and just slightly slower than when you began. Our second roll will be another one to the right. If at the end of the roll you're pointed either to the left or to the right, the reference point, you may need more or less rudder at the beginning or end of the roll. Pitch up, neutralize elevator, right aileron, right rudder, neutralize ailerons, nose back up on the horizon. And again, finish at the same altitude, a little slower each time you complete a roll. Next roll will be to the left. Pitch up, left aileron, left rudder, neutralize aileron, nose back up on the horizon. And the fourth roll again will be to the right. up, neutralize elevator, right aileron, right rudder, neutralize aileron, bring the nose back up to the horizon. So that completes our lesson today and we'll be heading back to Lost.
Here we are turning final approach back at Laughlin. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. Now go and practice. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and leave a comment or question below. I try to respond to every comment and question. And subscribe to be sure you see our next lesson. Happy landings!